Hey everybody, today is March 11th. The theme for our readings and our saint today is one about defending the unity of the church. Not leading to more division, but a desire to increase the unity of the church. Our saint that we're celebrating is Saint Sophronius. He was the patriarch of Jerusalem and the last few years of his life. But before that, he spent years traveling around the church in different regions and defending against division. So let's look a little bit about his life. He lived in the 7th century, in the 600s, and he was originally born in Damascus, in what's modern-day Syria. And he was a monk in Palestine, and he traveled with his friend, who was also a monk from the monastery, uh, John Moscus, to Syria, Asia Minor, to Egypt, and there they got to know St. John the Almsgiver, who was the Patriarch of Alexandria. From there, when Alexandria was invaded by another group, they left Alexandria and they went to Rome. And from Rome, they traveled again back to Palestine, back to Constantinople. And there, in all of this traveling, they were defending the faith that had been set up by the ecumenical councils. They were defending the faith against the people that were against the ecumenical council of Chalcedon. And this is really important because this division of those that accepted Chalcedon and those that did not accept it allowed for the entering of Islam into the Middle East. So there was the Orthodox Church, the church that was united. And then when there were Christians that did not accept this council, it created division within the church. And that division allowed some of the church to welcome the Muslims to come into Egypt, that welcomed the Muslims to come into uh, the Holy Land because they were taking advantage of this division within the church. But St. Sophronius was calling for acceptance of the Council of Chalcedon to accept orthodoxy within the teachings of the church at the time. And eventually he was called to be the Patriarch of, Constant of Jerusalem in the year 634. And he, in his sermon that year, moans the fact and, and mourns the fact that Bethlehem on Christmas was under occupation of Islam by that point. And just a matter of three years later, Jerusalem falls to the Muslims, and then he dies the following year in the year 638. Now, Saint Sophronius was also known for his writings, and he also edited the version of O Gladsome Light that we sing every divine liturgy. But we know that this hymn is actually much more ancient than that. Uh, it was existing before Saint Basil the Great as well. So. It's simply that he edited it, and he also gives us the story and the writings of the life of St. Mary of Egypt, who we celebrate on one of the Sundays of Great Lent. This is an important saint in the life of the Church, St. Sophronius, in the importance of unity and of orthodoxy within our faith. Now, let's look briefly at our epistle and our gospel reading. The gospel reading is a longer one. It's from the chapter uh, 23 of the Gospel of Luke, and it goes from the time where Christ is speaking with Pilate and Herod up through his crucifixion and the people resting on Sabbath the day after he was crucified. And our epistle reading is from uh, the book of, Lu of Jude, chapter 1. And in this reading, we see a warning against division. It says that there are going to be people who will set up divisions, worldly people devoid of the Spirit. And we need to be aware of this, right? That there are people who are going to look for things that are imperfect in our local communities. Every parish is imperfect, right? But if we look for a perfect parish, we're never gonna find it. We're always gonna look for another church to go to. We're always gonna be searching for perfection. But orthodoxy is not about creating division. It's about obedience to the Lord and stability, learning stability from our church fathers is a beautiful thing. So staying and finding roots and learning how maybe we're not always right about things and that we can take an obedience to the spiritual father of the parish that we're attending. So let's not look for division, right? And in Jude, it also says, but you, beloved, build yourselves up on your most holy faith. Instead of looking for perfection, look inward and see our own imperfection and, and in, in repentance, let go of our desire for perfection. He says, pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God. 
wait for the mercy of our Lord. Convince some who doubt in the faith. But then he says that Jesus Christ is able to keep you from falling and to present you without blemish before God. We are called not to try to give in to all these different divisions, to, to uh, mix ourselves up with politics of our day. That's never worked. But what has worked is looking to the Lord, looking to Christ in obedience and stability, holding true to the Orthodox faith, not to our own ego, and repenting of these things and, and desiring unity, as St. Sophronius did, even in a very contentious time period where he was faithful to Chalcedonian Orthodoxy, the, the faith that was delivered to him from the fathers before him. So may we also have this same faith, the same endurance, the same obedience as we enter into Great Lent this coming week. May God give you strength and may we all have the prayers of St. Sophronius. Amen.